Exoforce is one of the LEGO Group's best themes ever. And today I want to celebrate and discuss this awesome theme by talking about one of the coolest Exoforce sets, Aero Booster. I'll show you the incredible pieces that come in this set, how you can use them to build your own LEGO creations, and we'll talk in great detail about what makes this set and this theme the best. Let's kick things off. Look, if there's a theme I like more than Bionicle, it might, might just be Exoforce. Maybe it's a close second. Still, it's really, really good. An anime-inspired battle mech theme with humans versus robots. Heck yes. And the mechs from this theme are some of the best that we've ever gotten, ever. Of course, I hope that one day Bionicle or Hero Factory return. But mate, if Exoforce ever returns, oh, there's gonna be some kind of party happening. I will be so happy. One of my favorite Exoforce sets, the Aero Booster, it sums up why I love this theme. And that's the Japanese and anime influence. A set like the Aero Booster, it looks like a freaking Gundam mech. These giant booster engines on the back, all of these stickers, the over-the-top design. It feels right in line with many different types of Gundam robots and mecha. And there's really no other LEGO theme that has explored this kind of aesthetic. It's so exciting, it's so different. Then you have things like these minifigures with their wild Dragon Ball Z style hairdos. And there was some pretty rich and detailed lore for the world of Exoforce. I remember religiously reading the Exoforce online comics the day they came out. I was obsessed with this world and I loved these characters. It all felt so rich and so alive. Oddly enough, it was pretty similar to Bionicle. I loved and still love that theme because of the rich, layered and immersive story that comes with these sets. You're not just buying cool looking action figures, they're living, breathing characters. And I think I love Exoforce for the same reason. Everything felt so fresh and so real. It just all came to life. And I think that's what sets these mechs and this theme apart from any other theme. The characters, the world, and the aesthetic of these sets. It was unlike anything LEGO had ever done before. Except maybe Bionicle. And Bionicle was unlike anything LEGO had ever done before. It somehow managed to tap into a very similar energy that Bionicle did. You know, maybe Ninjago is a theme that's stepping into similar territory that Exoforce was. And I mean, some of the mechs in Ninjago are incredible. But Exoforce just hits different, man. Ah, I just love it. Now, let's get back to talking about the Aero Booster set. It's piloted by Hayato. And typically, any mech that he had was always on the smaller side. But each one was always some kind of flying machine. So to give him another smaller mech, but this one has like massive engine boosters added onto the back, it just feels so perfect for him. It's a very fitting way of powering him up and upgrading him. And I like the fact that the mech can attach and detach from the engines. That's just cool. The engines do have some level of posability to them. The side engines here, they can move up and down and side to side. And the two blasters here, they also have a good range of posability. And man, don't these giant blasters just look incredible? I feel like it's a little bit more rare for LEGO to be focusing on making such large guns like this. You don't really see that these days. It's such a lovely relic of the past. There's also a really fun cannon up here that you can actually launch. Always fun to do. Another play feature here is that you can remove this cannon and you can place it onto the hand of this mech. Tiny mech, big gun, why not? You know, there's something great about a small mech with gigantic engines behind it. And also the really like in-your-face color scheme, red and white and blue, it works in all the right ways. Yeah, this set was unlike anything else. And that's the thing too, LEGO, they love to reuse old concepts from older sets. And then they'll release them a few years later and update it slightly. I mean, even today in 2024, LEGO has taken this older LEGO delivery truck and they've updated it. We see that all the time. But I'm shocked that the concept of tiny mech with gigantic booster rockets on the back that hasn't been reimagined in well, any LEGO set that I can think of. This set is truly unlike anything else that we've ever seen before. Alrighty, but how can we use the pieces that come in this set? Well, the core structure of Hayato's mech is made up of these socket and rotation joint pieces, as well as some other ball and socket pieces too. And these are the perfect thing to have in your collection if you want to build a really nice frame that you can very easily armor up with other LEGO pieces. And we see Ao Okanonen doing that here on their version of Big Daddy from Bioshock. Yeah, let's take a look at this from behind, and then we'll highlight a couple areas where these specific pieces have been used. Yeah, every single one of these limbs, every body part really, it needs parts like this. Otherwise, something like this just wouldn't be possible. Yeah, these kind of pieces are super helpful. 
Oh, and this mock is sick. It's very accurate to the source material. It's just wonderful. This set also includes some of these hinge plate pieces in red, and poor disadvantaged has a mock here called Coilia that uses these pieces, but in a different colour. And turning them into a waistcoat design? Isn't that cool? The pop of colour that that provides is, well, it's stunning. Maybe you could do the same thing, but in red. If not, do what Sergei Rakamanov has done here on this mock. It's called Alien Infiltrator. I love what Sergei's done here. She's used these pieces as funky looking alien blades. How very creative. And it's great because the unique shape of these pieces, it ties in very nicely with all of these other wedge pieces and curved slopes that we see all over the body design. This mock just has such a great amount of consistent shapes and designs. I just love it. You also get three of these blue engine pieces. It's a rather large piece, but that doesn't mean that it isn't a helpful piece. Poor Disadvantaged has a mock here that's called Sub Slicer, Scoo, and Ba. Now first off, this is a great idea. Two separate underwater dudes that can separate or link together. Mocks that have some kind of fusion, that's just so fun. Anyway, using these blue engine parts here for propellers on an underwater submarine, heck yeah. These always look good on any type of mech or vehicle. You really can't go wrong if you use them on something like that. The set also includes some of these white wedge pieces. You can put stickers on them like you do in the actual set, or you can just leave them blank, it's up to you. And side note, the stickers in X04 sets are beautiful. Yes, there's often a lot of them on every single mech, which can be a little bit annoying to place, but when they look that good, I'm totally okay with it. Anyway, JQ Builds here has a Kopaka revamp that uses some of these pieces on the waist design. And I love how they've integrated these pieces. System parts like this, they work so well in conjunction with CCBS armor shells and other different types of bionicle armor as well. And also just the way that this piece curves along the hips here, it just looks really, really good. Aero Booster also comes with a few of these larger wedge pieces and Dylan Meaves uses them here on a mock that's called Ataka the Creator. Yet placing one of them on the waist design here, I think that's sick. It looks like he's wearing robes or some kind of ceremonial armor, just the way it droops down to the floor like that. It's fun. And hey, the top part of the torso and the waist, they use pretty similar wedge pieces to the ones we were talking about before. So that's a couple other ways that you could use those pieces, if you want to. Dylan also uses this piece as a part of the leg design on his Deoxys mock. See here how two of them in orange make up this lower leg? This is just the perfect way to replicate the unique shape of Deoxy's legs. Yeah, this is quite a helpful piece. Now one last wedge piece that's been included here is this windscreen part. Dylan has a Shovel Knight mock here that uses them for waist armor. It's quite a nice look, I, I think it's wonderful. And finally, this set includes the classic Mutterfoot in dark bluish grey, but there's some stickers on the very front edges here. How could we use these? Well, here's a Hera Factory mock that showcases a revamp of Stormer's Invasion from Below mech. And if we zoom in on the feet here, we can see some of these are being used. And this is such an elegant way of adding a nice splash of blue into this color scheme. Little subtle accents of a new color like this? It's just so pretty. Why not use these pieces to pull off a similar look on your next mock? Especially if you want to add just that nice hint of blue. So that's that. That's all the awesome pieces that come in this set. And that's how good this set truly is. Be sure to check the links in the description below to see more from the builders that I highlighted in today's video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching guys. Happy building and bye for now.